This video will show you how to import a list of your student emails from PowerSchool into Gmail so that you can send out an email to everyone in your class easily. So the first step is to log into PowerSchool and then you're going to want to start with the first class, so 1A here, by clicking the printer icon. It'll bring up this next screen and you'll see at the bottom it says download this class for import into Google Contacts. Click on that and then you're going to want to open that file. So once you open up the file that you downloaded from PowerPoint, you'll see a lot of information about the kids. I've sort of shortened uh, the information on the right hand side for the video, but you'll see it here. There's two sections. The top has the student emails and the bottom will have all the parent emails. So I'm just going to highlight all of the stuff on the bottom. And I'm going to right click and say clear contents. Because I just want to work with the students and build a list of student emails. Next you'll see group membership, and this is what you'll actually end up typing into Gmail to bring up the whole group. So I want to make it something shorter and easier to remember. So here on the first one I'm just going to put APCSA1. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that cell again, and there's a little blue box in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to click on it, drag it all the way down to the bottom. And you saw that it replaces this contents but in order, A1, A2, A3. Down here you can see this little menu and I'm going to click on it to autofill and say copy cells. So now it's just filled everything with A1. At this point all I need to do is file, save, and then you want to click continue. Okay, so you want to come into Gmail and then in the upper left hand corner you'll see mail with a little arrow next to it. Click on the little arrow and then you want to select contacts. This will bring up all of your Google contacts. You'll see next to this little person plus sign there's a more and then you want to come down and go to import. So it'll bring up this dialog box and you want to import the file that you just finished working on. So you'll do choose file, you'll navigate to wherever that file is, and you'll click open. Import. Give it a second to work. And now on the left hand side of the screen you'll see under my contacts I have my A1 APCS group. It'll have all of the kids listed there, their names, their emails, phone numbers, address. You can go to Find and Merge Duplicates, so it'll look to see if you have any of those kids already in there, but there were none there, so I click OK. That's it. So if, I'm, if I go back to Mail by clicking a little arrow next to Contacts, I click on Mail, and I go to Compose, and I start typing in APCS, you'll see that A1 APCS automatically pops up. I can click on it, and all of the students are selected. That's it.